Hi, welcome to all to my data science class. In this video, I am going to explain about sentiment analysis. The sentiment analysis used to you can extract the sentiment, opinion and emotion from the data. The main purpose of the sentiment analysis, it is used to you can find out the, the percentage of positive content and percentage of negative content that is present in your data. The sentiment analysis can be used in the three different areas, politics, marketing and social media. In politics, it is easy to you can find out whether the particular candidate will win in the election or not. In the marketing, it is easy to you can find out the particular product feedback, positive percentage and negative percentage. Then in the social media, using the sentiment analysis, we can find out the, the people mindset. For these three different areas, the sentiment analysis can be used. For the today's laboratory session, the question which is given is, Extract the chat history from your class WhatsApp group and save file as a test.txt and write a Python program to read the test file and plot the word cloud. That is our today's laboratory session question. For the today's laboratory session, the object to use, you need to import your class WhatsApp group chat history and the chat history, it should be saved as a test.txt file. From the text.txt file, you need to plot word cloud. That is the today's laboratory session objective. For that objective, you need to write a Python code. The first thing what you got to do, you have to open your mobile phone. In your mobile phone, you go to your class WhatsApp group. In the class WhatsApp group, there is a chat window, top right corner, there is a three dot button. If you click this three dot button, you'll be getting one more window. In that one more win window, there is an option called more. If you click this more, you'll be getting export chat. If you click this export chat, then your chat history, it will be exported as a text file. That is, that will be saved in your mobile phone. Then that chat history text file, it should be emailed to your account. Once if you email, you can open your email then you can download that text file and the text file it should be saved in your local computer for example here i have saved into e drive this is the text file this is the text file i have saved into my local drive e drive now if you look at this text file this text file contains some non ascii value also it is present you see this is the non ascii value Nine ASCII value in the sense some symbol is present. If your text file contains some symbol, it is not possible for you to read using your normal encoding scheme. Using normal ASCII encoding scheme, you cannot read. The for that you have to use Unicode encoding scheme. Using the Unicode encoding scheme only, you can read this content to your Python application. The for that you need to use Unicode encoding scheme. That when you are writing the code, I will show you. Now we'll move to your Jupyter environment. In the Jupyter environment, the first thing, if you wanted to plot a word cloud, you need to install word cloud package. The further the command is pip install word cloud. This is the package. The word cloud is a package. The package is installed. Once this package is installed, the next step, you need to import this word cloud and the stop word from the word cloud package. Using this two class only, we, we are going to build a word cloud. The for that purpose only I have imported this word cloud class and stop word class. The next I have imported matplotlib.pyplot as a plt. This is for data visualization purpose. I have imported this class. The next I have opened the text.txt file in read mode. It uses the encoding scheme as a UTF-8. That means it uses the Unicode encoding scheme. The question may think, sir, why sir, why do you want to use this Unicode encoding scheme? Previously, uh, when I was studying in Python lab course, at that time, we have not used. Now, why sir, we are suddenly using this line? The question may comes to your mind. Here the reason is, Suppose, let us assume I am going to remove that parameter, I am going to run. If you run now, you will be getting Unicode decoder. The reason is, 
this text file contains some nine ASCII value. If you are trying to read this nine ASCII value, you have to use Unicode encoding scheme. Then only it is possible for you to read this nine ASCII value. For that purpose only, I am giving that parameter. I am giving the last parameter as a encoding equal to encoding equal to UTF-8. When this line is executed, what will happen? The text.txt is a file. It is opened in read mode. It uses the encoding scheme as a UTF-8. Now the FS is a file pointer. It is pointing to the text.txt file. The next using this file pointer, I am reading the content that is present in the text.txt file. That content, it is assigned to text string variable. Now the text is a string variable. This uh, string variable contain the entire content of the test.txt file. The entire content it is assigned to this text variable. Now, the word cloud is a class. This class, in the constructor, it takes the three parameter. The first parameter is the word cloud uh, background color. It should be white. The further time passing the background color equal to white. This is the keyword parameter. In that parameter I am passing, background color should be white. The random state equal to 412. This is a random pseudo number. It is used to you can give the output same whenever you are running, whenever you are running your program. The next I am giving the stop words equal to set stop word. The stop word is a it is a set variable. This variable contain the uh, English common stop words like and is was the all the stop word it is stored into this stop word set variable the reason is when you wanted to plot the word cloud the stop words it should be removed the part that only in the word cloud class i am passing this parameter the next generate is a method this method it takes the text as a input the generate is a method it takes the text as a input for this input it will generate the word cloud as a image that image it is assigned to this word cloud variable this is the image variable this is the image variable okay this variable contain a word cloud image the next image so is a method when this method is executed the word cloud image it is plotted on the screen the next the plt access is a method if the method is executed your axis, x axis and y axis, it is not visible. Here I am giving the parameter as a op. The op it indicate the x axis and y axis is, should not be visible. The next plt dot show is a method. If the method is executed, the word cloud it is shown on the output. Now I am going to run this code and I am going to show the output. Now you see here if you look at this, this is the the overall content that is present in the test.txt file that content we have plotted as a word cloud now if you look at the media omitted it means that this is the frequently used word that is present in your chat history the banu is a word that frequently it is used in your chat history then bhavan is a word this word also it is frequently it is used in your chat history then, if you run one more time also, you will be getting the same output. You see, here your BM, Banu, Media Omitted. You will be getting the same output. Now, suppose if you remove this random pseudo number and if you run no, this output may change. But this, I am going to run this program and I am going to show the output. Now, you see the previously this BM, Banu, it was present in the top. Now it is comes to down. But all the word size it should be same. The word size it, it will not change. The word place only it will change. The previously it was in top. Now it is moved to down. But the word size is same. The font size is same. The reason is here the font size it is decided. It is depends upon the number of time that word it is repeated in your chat history. Using this word cloud, you can understand your chat history overall what the people are 
chatting with others. Now, the first question is over. The next we will discuss about the second question. In the second question, the question which is given is extract the chat history from your class WhatsApp group and save the file as a text.txt and write a Python program to read the test file and to compute the positive and negative neutral and sentiment score and to plot as a power graph. That is the our second question. In the second question, the main objective you have to re open that test.txt file from that file you need to read the content for that content you need to compute the sentiment score positive score negative score and neutral score you have to compute that computed score it should be plotted as a bar graph that is our objective for that objective we have to write a python code the first thing is you have to install vardar sentiment the vardar is a rule based sentiment analysis tool it is used to you can compute the positive negative and the neutral sentiment score of any text. The first thing you need to install this package for that pip install what are sentiment. If you type and if you run this code, then automatically this package it is installed in your Jupyter environment. Once this package is installed, you need to import the sentiment analyzer class from the what are sentiment package. You need to import the sentiment analyzer class from what are sentiment package. Then you have to then I have imported pandas as a PD. This is for data analysis and manipulation purpose. I have imported this pandas as a PD. The next step using this open method, I have opened this test.txt file in a read mode and I am using the encoding scheme as a UTF 8. This file it is opened in read mode and it uses the encoding scheme as a UTF 8. This FS is your file pointer. That file pointer it is pointing to the test.txt file. Now, using this fs.read is a method. Using that method, I am reading the entire content that is present in the test.txt file. That content it is assigned to txt variable. Text variable. The next, using the sentiment analyzer class, I have created one sentiment object. Now, using the sentiment object i am invoking the polarity score method the polarity score is a method to take the text as a input the text contain the content that is present in your text file the polarity score is a method to take the text as a input then it will generate the polarity score of your text in the sense it will generate the positive negative neutral and common score of your text then it is assigned to this sentiment dict variable. Actually, this polarity score is a method. This method, it will return the output in the form of dictionary. Now, this sentiment dict is a variable. This variable it acts as a dictionary. This variable contains four key. Negative, neutral, positive and common. Now, when this print statement is executed, your entire dictionary value, it is printed on the your user screen. Now, you see the overall Sentiment dictionary is negative, neutral, positive, common. The negative it is a key. The corresponding value is this one 0 0.009. The neutral is a key. The corresponding value is 0 0.942. The positive is a key. The corresponding value is 0 0.49. Like the next, using this print statement, I am using I am using the dictionary, passing the key as a negative. In the sense, it will extract the negative sentiment score. It is multiplied by 100. It is converted into percentage. Then it is printed on the user screen. Now, if you if you see in the output screen, the sentence was rated 0.89 percentage as a negative. Then, if you look at the sentence was rated as a 94 percentage as a neutral. Then, the sentence was rated as a 4.9 as a positive. When this print statement is executed, the percentage of negative, percentage of positive, percentage of neutral content that is present in the in your chat history. Then I am print the next using this if a leave statement. I am checking the overall chat history. If you want to find out the overall chat history, you have to check the sentiment dictionary and you have to check the, the compound value. The compound is a the compound score value you have to check if the common score value if it is greater than 
0.05 it means that your overall chat history it is positive your common chat history if it is less than or equal to minus 0. Point, your overall chat history it is negative if the two condition if it is not satisfied your common uh, if the two condition if it is not satisfied it means that your overall chat history it is neutral now according to our example the overall chat history was rated as a positive the reason is our positive value is 4.9 that is why our overall chat history was rated as a positive the next i have invoked this data i have used this data frame class using the data frame class i have used one data frame object df in the data frame class i am passing this sentiment dict variable then i am passing the column as a negative neutral positive component i am passing the four key value then i am passing the index as a 1 2 3 4 when this line is executed one df data frame will be created in the df data frame contain four column negative neutral positive component the corresponding value also it will be stored the next df dot plot dot bar then using this plot method i am going to plot as a bar graph when this line is executed the whatever the content that is present in the df data frame that is plotted as a bar graph if you look at your output then the negative it is your uh, this blue color neutral it is your orange color your positive it is your uh, green color the red color is common okay that's all thank you for watching we'll meet in the next class